Hi, my name's uh, Stuart. Um, some of you know me as Stewie or Stew on some of the forums. And I thought I'd make this video for you to answer some of the um, questions um, I have from people who've either bought some of my uh, baby blue tegus I've bred or um, have uh, seen um, footage of my setup, etc. Um, about how to uh, set up a, a tegu room. This isn't um, the biggest tegu room, um, uh, but it's a good size, certainly big enough for uh, uh, my guys. Um, there are some amazing tegu rooms out there. Um, people such as uh, Renske Lugman and Jan Paul in the Netherlands um, have incredible setups and more I've seen. You might want to um, visit them on Facebook. Go to Qlibet, that's Q-U-O-L-I-B-E-T. Um, they've got uh, some amazing enclosures. Uh, so back to my humble um, setup. Um, this is a brick shed, brick out building. Um, dry lined the walls, uh, insulation behind those, the floor, concrete floor, sealed with G4 pond sealant. Uh, on top of that is insulation, on top of that lino or linoleum, and on top of that obviously the substrate. One of the main questions I get is how do I maintain humidity in, in a room? Um, what I use is a domestic warm mist humidifier which keeps the um, humidity at ground level around about 80% which is what it is where these come, guys come from in Brazil all year round. Um, I'll just show you that. It's in a cat cage, um, turned on its side, so this is the lid, so it acts as a door and um, gives off a nice warm mist. Uh, what my guys do is they like to uh, climb up here and sometimes, particularly the female, likes to sit up here. This is um, far enough away from the um, uh, mist as it comes out of the um, humidifier. Um, so that it's just a, a very comfortable um, warm mist up here. Uh, the main hide is a vivarium. Sorry about my camera work. They choose to sleep in that um, at night. It's got an extra hide in there. Um, it's got UV in there and um, he likes to go in the extra hide in there and she turns the various off in the substrate. Um, in a room you can have um, um, a number of baskin spots um, at different temperatures they can choose which one they like. There's my female under the, um, the hot spot, that mercury vapour lamp there and um, there's a male, he's choosing the uh, not quite so hot one. What's important and what you can achieve in a Tegu room is um, you can offer shade. So underneath the table that the vivarium's on is um, an area with bits of shade in it. Underneath there, um, covering two thirds of the uh, floor underneath the substrate and strapped to uh, stuck down onto trays onto the floor are two large heat mats um, with the thermostatic probe attached and um, that ensures that uh, the heat mats are uh, just a comfortable temperature for them. She's taken to spending her nights under there rather than um, in the vivarium lately. Um, your setup also needs um, a bath, obviously, um, whether they choose to use it or not, should supply that. And um, water, they've just made a mess of their water bowl actually. Uh, I tend to keep it on a tray to keep the substrate out. The substrate I use um, currently is um, sand soil mix. They've just had their lunch of um, salmon, uh, fresh salmon, mango, blueberries, eggs. All wiring is uh, trunked in and um, boxed in. 
and the walls to keep the humidity in are just done with a um, um, wet room emulsion. Climbing opportunities uh, are thoroughly enjoyed, I've, I've noticed by Tegus. Um, so they like to have the exercise, um, it gives you extra floor space and um, they like to uh, be able to see what's going on. They do enjoy it. They've eaten so they're a bit sleepy now. These guys are on a um, Brazilian annual cycle and so at the moment even though it's um, the oh, 23rd, 22nd of June and yesterday was um, the longest day of the year in the UK with sunset at, at uh, 9.30 and dusk at 10.30 or so um, their lights go out at, um, basking lights go out at half five and the room light goes out at um, six um, because at the moment it's midwinter in Brazil. The temperature um, for that cycle, it doesn't get that cold where they come from in Brazil. I dropped the temperature by about five to 10 degrees at this time of year. Um, but the photo period, reduced photo period gives them that, that cycle. The blues don't need to hibernate. Um, unlike black and whites, these have bred very successfully with just a um, bit of a brumation period. They have been brumating for the past week, but they've come out to say hello today because I've been in there quite a bit and they've taken the opportunity to have a bit of a feed. As I say there are some people who have different types of setups um, that you can do it all manner of ways. My lights are on hanging basket brackets but I've also used um, and sometimes use uh, chains from the ceiling if I use a more powerful mercury vapour um, I need to, to raise it higher then I simply use a chain and I use the links uh, to, to raise it up. Um, I'd like to thank some people um, for sharing their knowledge with me and um, with other Tegu keepers like sort of Johnny LaRocca um, in the States um, and uh, as mentioned Renska Lugman um, who's been sharing some really good information on mercury vapour lamps and uh, UV outputs. Um, my fellow breeders in the UK, uh, Chris Smith, um, Anthony Wade, uh, Bertie Manning Nichols, have different setups but they're, they're very successful. Um, so there's there's plenty of choice and I've just uh, taken this opportunity to show you a little bit of how I go about things. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Well, uh, Say hello to Ernie, who's uh, a great dad, and I'm um, getting your babies back today, aren't we? Yeah, alright, you go down then. Go on. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.